Hi there, my name is Deanna Hansen. I'm the founder of Fluid Isometrics and Block Therapy. People are often asking me, why does my fascia cause me pain? I just wanna give you a little understanding of the fascia system and what it's supposed to be doing for us. We have trillions of cells in our body and every cell has a specific alignment that is right for it to be in. And one of the functions of the fascia is to help maintain mobility and stability and cellular alignment. The fascia is made up of primarily two proteins, collagen and elastin. The balance of these two give us the stability for our body so that we don't just melt like a puddle, but it also creates the mobility. And it's the balance of these two proteins that provide this. What happens over time is we're not really conscious of posture and breath. Most of us being dominant on one side, we shift our weight over. We're not conscious of proper diaphragmatic breathing. We start falling into the core of the body because of this weak muscle that should be nice and strong supporting the rib cage and everything above. So as we start aging over time in this negative alignment, the collagen component of the fascia starts to migrate away to create false walls and false floors. So as I start to tip off balance, if my body didn't unconsciously react to my unconscious living, eventually I would tip over. I'd land flat on my face, but we're designed to be upright. It's the adhesions, the collagen, the migration of this protein that migrates to create these false walls and false floors. But like scar tissue, which is made of, or of collagen, it blocks blood and oxygen flow to cells. So as time moves on and we continue in our unconscious posture and alignment, the whole fascia system starts to migrate and this collagen, these adhesions grip to bone with a force of up to 2000 pounds per square inch. So just imagine if I took your arm and I internally rotated your arm and I held it like this for a month, you're gonna have a pretty sore shoulder in about a month. If you went and you had a treatment on your shoulder, it might feel good for the moment, but that's not gonna take away what's causing that tension. Me releasing your arm will take away what's causing that tension and then everything will settle back. The fascia over time, it's like me holding your arm out of alignment. It's gripping and holding the body in these negative patterns. As I start to twist negatively out of alignment, it's pulling my body forward and down. So now the muscles in the back of the body, they're having to hold us up from tipping over. And now because we've had so much of that collagen migrating away, the back of the body, those cells are getting pulled further apart so there's less cells to give us the energy to do this work. And before long, you've got a sore back, you've got sciatic pain, SI joint pain, low back tension, neck tension, all of these things that are very common. Understanding how to address the cause sites to the pain is really the key to getting to the root of the issue. And really, the root lies on the bone because again, Adhesions will grip and adhere to bone with a 2,000 pound per square inch seal. If I have low back pain and I just go and I get my back addressed, just like getting that shoulder addressed without releasing the root, I'm not going to be making positive gains more than just a momentary improvement in how I feel. So we need to release the fascia largely from the limbs. The limbs are the furthest from the engine, especially the calves and the feet. So this is where the fascia manipulates the body the most. So if we don't address these areas, Every time you take a step, you're gonna get pulled back into that negative fascia pattern. So you can do all the work in the world to try to get rid of your back pain. You can strengthen your abs, you can do all of these things, but without understanding these cause sites, you're never gonna be making long-term gains to your fascia health. So if you find yourself in chronic pain, what are the next steps? Fascia decompression has three parts to it. The first part is to create space. If our cells are always in correct alignment, what we have is optimal space. Space allows for ease of flow of nutrients into the cell, as well as the removal of toxins, debris, negative emotion away from the cell. So we want to maintain that space. But again, we're starting with a body that has compressed under the force of gravity and unconscious living over time. So we need to put the space back into the body. With block therapy, we use our blocks, our tools, where we teach you to lie on the tool, connect to conscious diaphragmatic breathing, which is the second pillar. That allows those created spaces to inflate. Think of blowing up a balloon. If you blow up a balloon fully and completely, it's round, it glows, it almost defies gravity. If we're breathing consciously through our lifetime, our cells are always optimally fed. And they're like that beautiful blown up balloon, but take half of the air out of the balloon, it becomes wrinkly, dense dust and debris will get trapped in the creases. That's also what happens to the cells if we're not conscious diaphragmatic breathers. 
So through our process, through the first two pillars, creating space and inflating space, we open up those areas of compression, we pump blood and oxygen flow into that, and then those hungry cells, they take that oxygen, and then everything starts to rebuild because oxygen is the magic. It feeds the mitochondria, it turns on the body's energy. And then the third piece is understanding proper postural foundation. We don't need the body to develop false walls and false floors, that collagen, if we support our cellular structure through conscious alignment. We root, we understand that we are like a building and we support proper alignment through positioning our bodies as they're designed to be. So rooting is the lower body foundation and we go into lots of different ways of teaching you this on our YouTube channel. The second foundation is the diaphragm. When we're conscious breathers, this muscle is strong. If we're breathing through the muscles of the upper chest, which most people do, this muscle becomes weak and the rib cage comes crashing down into the core of the body, displacing the belly outward, affecting the function of the organs, creating inflammation, which creates a lot of problems for everything in the body. The third pillar is the tongue. It's not just about chewing and talking. The tongue is also designed to help support the weight of the head as well. Having palms forward, this is actually anatomical position. This is how, if you look at a skeleton that's made properly, palms are forward, yet most people are walking around with the palms facing the back of the body. So understanding how to not only create the space, inflate the space, but also maintain the space is what we teach you with fascia decompression in our block therapy program. If you enjoyed this video, click the like button and subscribe to my channel where you'll find lots of other information about the fascia.